What's up, Fichero fam? For today, we're gonna go to Highland and Denver. That brewery was super cool, Zuni. I am gonna be coming back there later tonight for trivia. But I figured why not come to Highland earlier, this area of Denver, walk around, check it out, you know, it's super beautiful. G blockbuster card. Yeah, I have the, the fake one I got from Ben's. Pretty similar, but this is more just like a replica, you know? Yeah, man. So the place behind me is apparently an amazing speakeasy, and from what I've heard, one of the top speakeasies in the world. Alright. Oh, that's so cool. That was a really cool spot, by the way. I heard such good things about it, lived up to the hype. When I got here, I asked the guy saying, hey, you know, make me any drink you want, huge pro tip. When going to like a high-end cocktail place, if they have bartender's choice, always do it. I always feel like it's the most unique, interesting, and best mixed drinks as opposed to anything on the menu. So here I asked him like, hey, can I do bartender's choice? Make me anything that's kind of cool, crazy, weird, so cool, such a good drink. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. This is one of the coolest beer gardens I've ever been to. I love the layout, the structure. This is awesome. The place behind me, Little Man Ice Cream, is insanely famous. Let's check it out. So I'm not super in the mood for ice cream right now, but they had a little <laughs> size cone. Look at that. That's awesome. So good. This is so cool. I travel a lot, as most of my subscribers know, and seriously, 
Denver has some of the coolest bars ever. Now we're heading back to Zuni for trivia. Thailand was a really cool area. And I feel like since I've gotten here to Denver, there's just so much stuff to do and even more stuff popping up. A huge pro tip that I use when traveling, I call it overlapping, is when I go to a new area, I cannot leave that area, whether it's a bar, a restaurant, a hike, whatever it is, I cannot leave there until I get a suggestion for another place. And as you can imagine, a lot of times people are like, oh, well, Here's one place you gotta check out, but oh, let me give you a couple other ones or whatever. And I have a huge list of places and things to do in my notes on my phone. And even though I'm here for the month, I'm like, you know what? I feel like I'm barely gonna scratch the surface of everything to do here. As you saw from the footage, it was a great night. It was a Tuesday night, so it wasn't like super crazy, you know, but my brother lives here and him and his friends were going out to trivia at Zuni in Highland. And I thought, you know what, why not go early, check out the area, just kind of walk around and explore it and then meet up with them later. It was pretty awesome as well, bumping into somebody who had the original Blockbuster card. I wear the Blockbuster sweatshirt a lot. As a quick side note, I don't think I've ever gotten more tension from any item of clothing than the Blockbuster sweatshirt. And not by a little, but by a lot. I always have people talking to me about it. I was walking around in Highland, the guy like called me out. So we were talking about Blockbuster and everything. People in Denver, I will say, are unbelievably nice and friendly, probably not surprising. And then when I was walking around, I saw Williams and Graham, and I heard about that place before. I did some research. It's gotten ranked as actually the best bar in America for some years. It's also ranked as one of the top 50 bars and speakeasies in the world, which is crazy because when I went in, I've never experienced this at any bar. You know how when you go to a very nice restaurant, they give you like a small plate of food in the beginning and it's not really like an appetizer. It's more of like a piece of food on the house just to kind of like, you know, get you geared up for food or whatever. That's what they had at Williams and Graham. So when I sat down, the guy's like, oh, he's like a small drink. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm just gonna have one. He goes, no, it's like a small one. We just give it to everyone as a complimentary drink. It's like bourbon with juices and whatnot. It was such a cool spot. And then going to those really unique bars like Recess, Field Trip, and Forest Five, the layouts of them were just so cool, so unique. You know, some of the most unique bars I've been to pretty much anywhere. Getting that small ice cream cone as well was great. So I got to try it out. The ice cream was phenomenal. And then finishing off the night with trivia, that food truck as well. Those are the best Brussels sprouts I have ever had. The food here has been amazing. The bar scene has been awesome. The people I've met so far have been insanely nice and instantly friendly. I've only been here for a week and I think I've gone to over 50 establishments so far, but I've barely scratched the surface. Denver is an awesome city.